Today we are going to be talking to Dr. Jack Shepard, who will be telling us a little bit about maple syrup cure disease, or MSUD for short. So doctor, tell us a little bit about yourself and the disease you've been studying. Oh, uh, well I've been studying MSUD for about five years now, and I've seen some critical cases presented from the moment of birth to the first couple months of life. So doctor, what exactly is MSUD? Well, MSUD is an inherited disease where your body can't properly break down amino acids. As you might have guessed, MECD is named for having sweet smelling urine. Hmm. Can you tell our audience what amino acids are? Sure. Well, amino acids are basically just the building blocks of protein. Well, doctor, what happens with these amino acids in MSUD? In MSUD, the body can't properly break down three specific amino acids called leucine, isoleucine, and valine. In people who aren't affected with this disease, there is an enzyme that can break down these amino acids properly. The enzyme uses a vitamin called thymine, or as more commonly known, vitamin B1. People with MSUD have a problem with this enzyme. Can you tell us some symptoms of this disease? Um, well, from birth, the babies with MSUD have vomiting, a lack of energy, and they don't really eat that properly. Uh, sadly, if this disease is untreated, it can cause comas, seizures, and sometimes even death. So, Dr. Shepard. Are there different types of MSUD? Actually, yes, there are four different types of MSUD. The first is the classic type, which becomes obvious soon after birth. Then intermittent, intermediate, and finally thymine responsive. Can you tell us a little bit about each one? In the intermediate, children start to develop normally, but in about five months, they gradually become mentally retarded and can have seizures. Thymine responsive is very similar to intermediate. However, the child becomes better when treated with huge doses of vitamin B1. Well, how common is this disease, Dr. Shepard? Um, well, out of everybody in the world, it's about 1 in 185,000. Uh, but in the Mennonites, it's, it's as common as 1 in 358 births. Hmm, very interesting. So how do people get this disease? Well, MSUD is inherited by autosomal recessive. One of the worst parts of this disease being autosomal recessive is that both parents don't need to show the disease for their child to be affected. This is a problem because parents won't be aware that this disease is running in their family. This is a pedigree, pedigree showing maple syrup urine disease in one family. As you can see, in generation one, the mother, or the circle, is the carrier, while the father, the square, is, has the affected trait for maple syrup urine disease. They have four children. Three out of the four are carriers, while one was affected and sadly died. As you can see, the family to the left, both the mother and the father are carriers, so their child has the affected trait for maple syrup urine disease and sadly died. The family on the right, both are carriers, the father and the mother. They have three children, Two are carriers, while one has the affected allele and sadly died. Their son went on to marry a normal woman. As you can see, they have three children. Two out of those three are normal, while that one son is the carrier. So what other names are there for this disease? Well, some other names are BCKD deficiency which stands for branched chain alpha keto dehydrogenase deficiency or ketoacidemia. Okay, so let's say I had this disease. How would I treat it? Well, if you had this disease, you would treat it by eating a protein-free diet. In the hospital, they would feed you sugars, fluids, and sometimes fats given through an IV. Sometimes you will have a diet that doesn't have any branched chain amino acids. This is started when the amino acid level is normal. If you were fed this diet, you would need to stay on it for life. However, even if you keep a strict diet, during periods of infection or stress, the patient can have a relapse that could be fatal. Is it possible to prevent this disease in the first place? Well, there's a genetic counseling that can identify uh, carriers in relatives of parents or of children with MSUD. And these people would be recommended either one, not to have a child in the first place, or two, to be examined as soon as the baby is born for this disease, in order to start this special diet from the very beginning. 
Well, that is all the time we have here on GTV. Thank you so much, Dr. Shepard, for teaching us so much about maple syrup urine disease. I'm Tim. Thank you so much for watching this GTV special. Bye-bye.